out there, Florida's big fish show. We've got Mr. Shaw Grigsby, long time fisherman. Everybody knows it. Just elected into the Bass Fishing Hall of Fame. Shaw, what a pleasure to have you here. It's great to be here, Mark. I tell you what, old is definitely the truth. I've been fishing professionally for 34 years, so uh, you know I've seen it. You know from a lot of years out there and uh, it's awesome. It's good to be here in, in, uh, in Leesburg and this is where I probably made my decision to really that I could be a pro. And, and we were fishing a mega bucks here and I led, this was way long time ago in the 80s, and I led every day of competition and then they zero your weight and they put you in a six hole course down there in Little Lake Harris. And, um, and I still finished second, but it was one of those deals where I said, you know, if I can hang with these guys, you know, I, I might have a, have a career here. And 34 years later, I'm still out here. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty special, man. And, and this area is special. Great fishing, you know, great opportunities. I just love everything about these right here. I don't know if, the, if our viewers really understand 34 years and three all of them. <laughs> What's it take to get that kind of longevity? Yeah, it's passion. It's about loving the sport. And if you love what you're doing, and I don't care what it is, I mean, if you love building houses and you and you love it, then you're going to be willing to put extra time, extra effort, and what it takes to be the best at it. And that's just basically all that it's been, is that I really love fishing. And I got into fishing before there was really any money in it, so it was not about the money. It was just that we love fishing. We love competing. And, and and, um, and so, you know, one thing led to another, and here I am. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been very special. At Florida's Big Fish Show, we're all about promoting fishing here in Central Florida. It's Bro Brooker's seventh anniversary. We're here promoting them. We want everybody to know what you're doing, but what do you think is special about fishing in Central Florida? Oh man, it's a, probably some of the best and, and best fishing in the world, and some of the biggest <laughs> fish in the world live right here in, in Central Florida. This used to be Florida used to be called the bass capital of the world, and and the state didn't any, do anything with it for many many years. Now in the last about ten years. Fish and Wildlife has really stepped up their efforts and they are working so hard to bring Florida to being the prominent bass fishing state in the world. We have the biggest fish, you know, the, the Florida strain largemouth grows bigger than any of them. And so it, it's, it's really cool to see, you know, in the old days how good it was and then to know we went through some tougher times and then to see how Florida's got, the state of Florida got behind it and is bringing it back. So everything here in Central Florida, man, you can't get better fishing and you can't find bigger fish and you just have one of those things where every cast you make could be the biggest of your life. And so, yeah, it's, it's an awesome place. It's great to be here. And, you know, here at Brooker, it's just a great place to come get all your needs, you know. So that's why I really like coming here. And uh, and we just have a good time. So we talk fishing and, and teach people how to catch them and anything we can do to help them catch fish. Because they go out there and catch fish, then it supports the whole industry. 34 years. What was the best tournament? And if you had to just pick one, because you've won lots, what, yeah. was, the, what was the best? Um, you know, really, I'm going to just say my last, and my last, my last victory was here on the Harris Chain, so that was special, it was close, it was uh, local, uh, BASS Elite Series, so that's, you know, even makes it that much better to be an elite tournament, um, and, you know, you, you go along, and when you're in your 30s and 40s, you're on top of the world, you think you're going to win every tournament, and, and so you just keep banging them out, and, and, you know, I got like eight wins in the BASS circuit, and so when I won number nine after like 11 years of not winning, you know, that's really special. So probably the last one's special. Um, and, you know, if I get another opportunity to win, it'll be, that'll be my most special because the older you get, the more you cherish those moments. Look at, look at the year that's going to be coming up. How many tournaments do you expect to fish? What do you got going on that's exciting what do you want all your fans to know that's coming up in 2018 yeah we'll be fishing the elite series again and they'll that be nine tournaments and uh, they start at Lake Martin in Alabama and we'll go all the way to South Dakota I've never been to South Dakota so that'll be kind of cool uh, and, you know so I've been doing this as a profession for 34 years and the first time I get to go to South Dakota so uh, really neat situation that we started a, a circuit ourselves as anglers called Major League Fishing uh, I'll be participating in those. They're incredibly intense, the most intense fishing and the most level playing field you can have in, in fishing. And that's on the Outdoor Channel, so you can see that Major League Fishing on Outdoor Channel. And then, uh, and then I'm just going to spend time with my grandkids, man. I got my grandson here. He's running around, got my jersey on, and and uh, I love taking him fishing. He loves it, and that's what really. 
you know, the greatest thing about the sport is that we're able to give back to it and able to bring youngsters in and teach them to fish. You know, when I started, if you were a fisherman, if you went fishing, everybody thought you were a bum. Now we have junior angler clubs, we have high school clubs that compete all across the nation. You get college scholarships. You can get full college scholarships to go fishing. Where was that when I was growing up? Come on. And then you go from the college dish rank straight into professional. It doesn't get better than that. So we've we've built the system up and people are seeing the, the value that is in this sport. And uh, so everything from conservation, sharing, getting kids out instead of them stuck on their computer screen, getting them seeing what the real world is and uh, you know out there in, in God's creation. So great, great opportunity to be a professional angler and it's great to be able to give something back. For all of you out there watching Florida's Big Fish Show, what a great honor to have you all with us today. Best of luck in this upcoming year. Thank you very much.